Good morning. Thanks for joining me on my morning prayer walk. I'm downtown Sacramento, California, walking prayerfully around the state capitol. Some will debate, some will argue. I challenge you as we approach the significant national election that you would have a spirit of prayer and maybe even fasting. Here, I've been reading through Romans chapter 13, and I challenge your heart this morning to prayerfully consider the words of the Apostle Paul. Everyone must submit to governing authorities, for all authority comes from God. And those in position of authority have been placed there by God. Romans chapter 13, verse 1. We know what the prophet Isaiah said. You remember the passage of scripture that speaks about the coming of the Messiah? And here it underscores that all authority in government have been placed there by God. Speaking of the supreme authority of the one that sits upon the throne. Isaiah wrote in chapter 9 verse 6, you remember these words. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will rest upon his shoulder. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. We must remember as we come to this election season that God is the supreme authority. But we must humble ourselves, humble ourselves, confess our sins, repent from sin, and call upon the Lord Jesus Christ that God would bless America. I challenge you daily to pray for America as we prepare for the national elections. 244 million people are eligible to vote next week, but 100 million will neglect to do so. And tragically, they tell us between 30 and 60 million born-again believers will neglect to vote. I challenge you to prayerfully become the light of the world as Jesus taught us to and be engaged. Don't be discouraged. Don't be disengaged. You engage prayerfully that God's hand would be upon America.